Hey, what's happening, everybody? I'm gonna do a quick video because I scored a uh, heavy. I scored a 2015 Nvidia Shield Pro. This thing's got today. So uh, since I haven't made a video on on ways to get apps. I thought I'll do a quick little video just to get everybody started. I'm not I don't want to get too in depth, but just to get people started on how to how to add apps and stuff just a few options, a couple options I'll go over. But let me pause it. I I moved my I moved my tinkering room. So I'm going to just put it on that TV there. But yeah, I I had the spare bedroom. So I'm gonna use that TV just to tinker with it and get and get devices set up and then but I'll be moving this into my living room and move my 2017 shield in here. But let me pause this and then I'll get it hooked up to that TV and then I'll do a screen capture with it or casting and hopefully everything will go smooth. So I'll be right back. Okay, well I'm back and I'm hooked up here to my TV. I got it hardwired, and I'm I'm using a mini keyboard. Sorry, I'm a mess. It's been a long day, and I try I'm gonna try to get this done real quick. But all I did was uh, let me get rid of this, and then we'll screen capture. Let me get rid of my camera. Uh, remove. Okay, so all I did is I, I plugged it in and then just walked the steps. I signed in with my Google Google account, and then I went into settings. I didn't add any apps. I don't add any apps or do anything from my phone. I just straight to the shield. Um, I go to device preference. I went to about and I made sure we were up to date. Check for upgrade. And the 2015 and 2017s are on 8.0.2. And then I went down to build. And I clicked this about seven times to where I get my developer options. And then I go down to developer options. And for my casting program, I turn on network debugging. That was up there. But that you won't need that. And then I scroll down until I find the animation scales right here. And I shut all of these off. These three off. The animator duration scale, the transition animation scale, and the window animation scale. All right. That's all I do there. And you can dial it in. Uh, this isn't the TV that I'm going to use or the sound, so I'm not really going to worry about it. My storage, I got the 500, I got the Pro, the 2015 Pro, so it's got the 500 gigabyte hard drive in it, but I'll probably add an SD, SD storage maybe later. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. Um, but yeah, I mean, I don't want to get too much, but here's your display. I'm only on a 1080 TV, so. But yeah, I really don't do too much, guys. All right, so this is the first thing I, you know, the first thing I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go in the Play Store, and I am gonna. turn off auto updates so I just come back in here and check what updates are available and then I manually do them but I'll update all this stuff later I just wanted to show you to turn that off because the what I'm gonna do I'm gonna the first option that I'm gonna show you guys how to get apps on here I'm gonna load up 
a uh, file manager. So I'm just going to type in file manager and see what we come up with. Solid Explorer I like. I'm going to install it. Now I'm just going to open it right up. Alright, now I'm going to go into settings. You can change the theme if you want. Um, animate thumbnails, I'll, I shut that off. And I think that's about it. You can shut that usage status off. Alright, and now we'll go back. And now that we see the storage manager. So this one was where I got the settings. This icon here. And then you go to the three dots and then you can add your storage managers. So you got Google Drive, you got Dropbox, you know, you got all your your cloud storages. So whatever you got if you have Google Drive, Dropbox, uh what do you got? MediaFire, I got all those. So that's a one way you can get apps. You know, you can ha you you can have your Google Drive on any device, any and, you know, any device or Dropbox or or Mediafire and then you can just have your load apps from your phone or a different device PC whatever into your Google Drive and then you load your Google Drive in this file manager and I'll show you so you just highlight whatever one then hit your next I'm just gonna leave the name empty Log into Google Drive. I'll allow that. Now I'm logged in, so I'm going to hit Next. That all looks good to me. I'm going to hit Next. I'm going to hit Connect. And then I'm going to hit Finish. Maybe. All right, so now that's finished. So now I'm going to back up to the main page here and now we got our Google Drive. So I got whatever apps right here. I'm going to choose my file linked package installer. Now we're going to have to go to settings. We have to allow that on Android 9 and above. You have to allow. So I'm going to do it once again. I opened up the cache because it was already downloaded, so we didn't have to download it again. And there we go. Now we got file linked. Or if you have wh whatever app, whatever apps you want, put them in your Google Drive or your Dropbox or your cloud storage. Use whatever file manager you guys want. All right, that's one method. Another method You got a uh, send files to TV. 
this app right here put it on your phone and put it on your shield send from your phone on the same network send from your phone to your shield received here on your shield um, I don't know if there is a downloader in here anymore or not yep there it is but I do not know I think you can get file linked with this and there is a URL that you can get the let's just install it I haven't installed it for a while but this is the I don't know I don't like using downloader on shield but yeah see there's no there's no file there's no uh, web browser but we let's see if it'll let us get file link get dot file linked dot com the old one used to allow that okay so you can do that to get file link to grab downloader and then just type in get dot file link dot com and then you'll you'll be able to get downloader I mean you'll be able to and then delete the file once it's installed so get downloader from play store get dot file link dot com but you just won't have a web browser there is a URL but I really don't know what the URL is right off hand so but that's another option alright so we got file link covered and you got your Google Drive you got send files to TV and you got downloader what I'm gonna give you is my public uh, file link it's six four zero six six zero two two and hit continue I don't use a pin on this and I try to keep it up to date but the what I don't keep up to date just dismiss any pop-ups what I don't keep up to date this first category is APK stores and browsers so this Chrome works but I also have a Puffin TV that will work as long as you don't let it update that's why I shut the updates off in the Play Store so you just hit you find a file that you want hit the download arrow that same arrow turns into a play icon hit that same icon for install you're gonna have to allow, allow an unknown sources install I'm just gonna hit done so you can load up in here guys live TV and sports I know some of these are outdated and I couldn't tell you what works and what not I go through here every once in a while I work seven days a week so I'm I, I'm busy with stuff and doing a lot on the on the on the side now there's some Cody forks and stuff outdated miscellaneous apps movies and TV show and all this stuff uh, that there's videos on everything somewhere lots of movie apps there's some players and then here's some tools and then here's another tool that you can use instead of the send files once you get here you can uh, I enjoy this send anywhere pro the send anywhere premium app that's what I enjoy I put this on all my devices and I send and receive it's fast and it works and then here's m the solid Explorer that I'll put on this is the premium solid Explorer you sp speed tests so yeah there's there's lots of goodies in here to get you started and that's that's really what I wanted to 
to get because I know everybody's getting the new shields, the old shields updated, the Puffin browser updated. So if you get the Puffin browser from the Google Play Store or even let this one update that we just put on, then you won't be able to you won't be able to download from it because Google warned Puffin that they can't allow download. Oh, another one, Analyti uh, web browser, or Analyti speed test. That has a web browser, Analyti. So this is the main purpose, is just getting you guys started on how you can get stuff installed. There's just a ton of ways, and we should all know ways. There shouldn't, you know, so open up your Analyti, and then write, where is it, web check? Uh, web check and then you can go right up here and you can do HTTP and type in your URL www.file linked and I know I'm just th it, this is just file links the only URL that I know so that's but you type in whatever URL you guys need hit go it might have to let me see if my remote will work it's tricky failed to connect but if you have a remote you get this on screen keyboard And then if you can get your remote to trigger that go, then it'll search. I don't know why it's not searching, but trust me, it works if you have a remote. So that's another way, Analyti. I wonder why I didn't get my full speeds here. Now it's going to bug me about that. But I don't want to get too caught up in it. But Analyti does work. It just use your, use your remote and it will work with the on-screen keyboard. I just didn't pair the remote because I use a keyboard. And I had other ways, but so you got tons of ways. I don't know what's up with my speed. So the first thing I did, I shut off the Google Play Store update so we can use Puffin. And this is an old one, so you can go to uh, most popular. You can go to Google. And www.filelinked.com. Let you go. Take the on screen cursor, click on it, download, allow. Once you see that, start downloading. Then you can hit your back button. I don't have a back button on here. 
So let's just go out, open it. There we go. I just held down my OK button to get this page up and then go to start page and then back on this column now you're gonna have a download and now uh, you can install from Puffin just don't let this Puffin update or you can do the, the search or type URL and then you just once you see that start download go back to the start page and then you'll have a downloads column so how easy and simple is that guys shut off auto update so you'll just come in here manually settings auto updates we're going to turn those off that's so nothing updates on you and you ruin your puffin and then just come in here if you notice that there's apps for update you come in here and just individually update them they don't have my puffin in here yet so I can just hit update all now and then I'll just bypass puffin or grab chrome from my whatever there I gave you a ton of options guys your solid explorer you add your cloud storage storage manager come down here add add whatever you guys got I got three or four drop boxes I got Google Drive I got Mediafire and you can also use the USB stick from device to device send files to TV from Play Store here and on your phone grab send anywhere from my file link Analyti web browser if you have a remote that works um, but yeah that'll I mean just remember dismiss I mean you, the shields a beast so you can have multiple stuff going on but you just double click your home button and then this home screen go clear down to the bottom customize your channels shut off whatever you don't want I bought the uh, side load channel 2 do you guys want me to go over that real quick if you buy the side load channel 2 launcher side load channel if you don't like the original home screen I'm going to allow it. Now I'm going to hit my home button. I'm going to go to settings. I'm going to go to device preferences. I'm going to go to accessibility. Side load channel 2. I am going to turn that on. Enable. All right. So now I'm going to open it up. I'm going to go down here to app settings. I'm going to check this launch sideload channel 2 on boot. Sideload channel launcher 2 on boot. I'm going to check that. And then I'm going to map a button to launch side load channel. So I'm going to click that. Now when I click this to set the button, I'm going to hit my home button. Alright. So I'm going to click it. 
I'm going to hit my home button. And then I'm going to go down here and I'm going to hit done. files oops hide channel name save files application we'll just use file link real quick save channel that adds it to your home row close admin now I'm gonna do I'm gonna add a row settings I'm going to put this on the right hand side, save, settings, application, and then you go into settings, put that there, and then I like to put Android TV Home here also, save channel. And I do backgrounds and everything too. So now I got my settings right here. You got you can switch back to your Android TV home. And now I'm hitting my home button and boom. Go in an application, hit your home button, and now it's, you'll never have to see that. I can restart it and it'll boot up because I have it on auto auto start to this launcher. That's if you guys want in sideload channel you have to get the one from the play store it's like three dollars so just m options guys so you're not stuck all right that's enough to get you started I just wanted it quick to show you how to get things right away there's plenty of options plenty of plenty of options everybody should know how to do all this all right i think that's all the settings i wanted to do i'm gonna mess and see why i can't get my internet speed something's up all right love you guys peace out and happy streaming have fun